Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here with a quick review for you of another of one of my beloved iPad cases. This in front of me is not a moleskin notebook and it is not a dodo case. This is the Portenzo notebook style case for Apple iPad. And I know there's been a lot of buzz around the dodo case since it first came out. Um, I saw it and like most other moleskin enthusiasts, I loved it. However, once I started, um, you know, looking up for videos for it to see what other people were thinking of the build quality and everything, a lot of things I was hearing and seeing in videos got me a little bit uh, skittish about ordering a dodo case. Not to mention, at the time, uh, a few months ago, it was like, and it probably is still now, like a five to six week wait, which is just such a long time to have to wait for a case. Uh, by that time I would, you know, perhaps have fallen in love with another case, so it was kind of dangerous for me to um, place my money on the Dodo case. But, um, that being said, um, I found the Portenzo case, which is very similar to the style of Dodo. Um, it is the moleskin style, hardbound book in a bamboo seat. Um, However, there are a few differences, and um, I think those differences are what really drew me to the Portenzo case instead of the Dodo. So let's just review those quickly. So you see that there's, um, we've got this case in here in the seat. Um, this, other, unlike the Dodo seat, this bamboo casing is a little bit thicker. It goes a little bit higher up all around the iPad. And so when you put your iPad in, it's completely flat. There really isn't as much exposed as there is with the Dodo case. Um, so that's one thing, and that helps to keep it in place. The big thing that this case has that the Dodo, there's been lots of issue with, is the corners. Um, the corners of this iPad case are like this rubberized, um, kind of gripped, edged um, rubber material, basically. And the casing is cut out exactly the size of an iPad. So when you put this in, you kind of have to put the one angle in the top or the bottom and then press down. That's the same way as the Dodo case, except for when you put this in, it's not falling out. You can't get this iPad to fall out of this case. I know the Dodo had issues because their corners, I guess, a lot of people, even though their corners were pretty good at keeping the iPad in, you'd still, you know, they could pick up the case and they could put the iPad on an angle and it would totally just fall out. This thing is in here for good. In fact, I'm not even going to remove it from the case because it does take a little bit of effort. It's not too difficult. Basically, what you have to do is uh, you have to push perhaps one side of your body. I'm going to do it a little bit for you see if I can get it out real quick. Yep, there you go. So I'm pushing it against my body and I'm pulling up from where this bottom part is. And you can see I begin to lift it up. It takes a little bit of effort. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I did take it out. And that's the interior. So nice and plain black on black. That was another reason I got the Portenzo case. Um, I really didn't like the red. I really don't like red. Um, so especially black and red, it's so overdone. So I really liked how I had the choice of black on black with this one. As you can see, these are like ridged, rubberized feet. And this guy just goes back in like, I'll put the top in first. I always like to put the top in first. But you gotta pretty much push it in and you really gotta get your fingers to push them in. And the first time I did it, it was a little bit hard. It's actually getting easier for me every time I do it. So that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But um, you can also see it sits completely flat Hopefully you can see that angle. Um, you're not really seeing any bulges or anything. I, this hasn't fallen out of the case. I've had it in it pretty much um, since I got it uh, a few, I guess at the, like maybe a month ago or more. I wanted to try it out before I tested and then I had to go on a business trip. So then I got home and I was busy and I'm like, oh, I gotta do this review. But you could see it was worth the wait. Um, the one thing with these cases that you, that are notable, you fold them back and you got the typing angle. It's not it's not significant enough. Um, I think it's not as significant as it could be. The, they say the Apple cases and some other cases um, create a higher 
angle, but this actually isn't that bad, especially if you're putting it on your lap. The only thing that gets a little annoying is sometimes it can move, um, but pretty much I can get it to stay still. And of course, the strap holds it in place. So you're holding it like a book when you're reading, when you're doing whatever. Um, overall, I really like this case. Um, it is, if you want like a size comparison, it's about the size of a large moleskin. And I've got one of these large moleskin notebook things here. And it's about the exact same size, maybe a little bit wider because of the casing, um, but pretty much the same size. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a close up of the grip, the sure grip corners is what Pretenzo calls them. You can see, hopefully you'll see from this angle, that the corners are ridged. And you see they're a little bumpy. I'll try to get this centered in the picture. They're a little bumpy. That's what keeps um, the iPad so securely in place. Um, and that's something that's completely different from the Dodo case. I think the Portenza really got it right with this case, um, with those corners. And so um, I think that's what makes the iPad so much more secure while it's in this case. Okay, so now that you've gotten a good overview of the case and I gave you a close-up of those short grip corners, I just wanted to say a few things about what this case is good at and what this case is not good at. I think if you're someone who likes to read, um, has maybe had some difficulty with the iPad because you're not really sure how to hold it, how to carry it around, I think a case like this, a Dodo Portenzo, um, I think another there's another... Um, uh, brand of these moleskin like cases that are out there in the market right now with the hard bound um, sort of look. I think they're really good at creating a solution for you to hold it um, and to keep your iPad safe if you're someone who is a responsible gadget owner. And what I mean by that is you're someone who doesn't need to have a case that's super protective for their items because there's someone who you're someone who naturally will take care of your gadgets. I mean, I know people who have phones, they throw them around, uh, you know, their laptops, you know, they could be in cases or sleeves, but they just kind of throw them in their bag. If you're that kind of a person and your gadgets tend to break, I don't think this is the kind of case for you. This isn't the kind of case for, I think, a, even someone who's younger, unless you're really mature and really uh, able to take care of your devices, because this isn't adding a lot of protection other than scratch protection around the sides and protection to some degree of the screen. And it's a really, it, I think it's a really great protection. This is a really hard, you know, casing. It's not, you're not going to get things, you know, if something falls on this, something drops on it, something small, obviously. You're not going to have issues with the screen getting scratched while it's closed or the screen breaking. But, I mean, if you throw this in your bag and, like, you drop it and step on it or something, I mean, this hard book binding is not going to protect your screen. So, I think that that's something to really keep in mind is that these, these cases aren't meant to be dropped. Um, they're meant to be carried around and held and, you know, sat on a desk and, you know, not a lot of, um, you know, extreme use. Um, if you want extreme use, go get an OtterBox case, that's what I like to say, because that's, well, you know, they're the only cases that I think really hold up to things like that. Uh, but if you are someone who, you know, you're, you drop your phone, you tend to drop your iPad, your gad iPod, your gadgets, anything else, you drop your iPad, I would say something maybe with padding is for you. Um, this might not be for you because I can totally see you dropping this and the bamboo, you know, it's only glued in there. It's only book bindings. You see how quickly books themselves, uh, tend to get broken. You know, they tend to get warped out of, out of shape and things like that. And those are just regular books. So, um, I could totally see this, you know, if you weren't taking care of this case, it causing an issue, not just for the case, but for also the iPad inside of it. So that's just the last thing I wanted to mention about this case. Other than that, I love this case. Um, it's great for me because I tend to be really careful with my stuff and I don't tend to like ever scratch or break anything. So um, it's good for me. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please um, either send me a message or uh, leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe so I know that you like these videos that I make. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.